swords page of wands what happened somebody hurt us oh we are still in pain over some communication um you know we don't have the same passion we had somebody walked away three of swords eight of cups okay so we are a little bit in pain and dealing with 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 some rejection of some sort let's see okay last shuffle and then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck three of swords two of cups who's hurting like this leo who's hurting you baby what's going on let's see let's see let's see so bottom of the deck for the overall energy love energy at this time and we are saying uh, uh the first week of september and we do have the full right um new beginnings new beginnings this is kind of the um the energy around you where we are like you know what i am going to start new right it's an opportunity for some of you and for some of you this is guidance because every time we get major arcana is, is the universe telling us oh yeah you know time to start new time to reset the clock time to you know um to start all over again uh we do have more experience though right so we need to be enthusiastic about this new beginning um it has something beautiful in it it has discovery it has excitement right um, so let's see what's going on. Can also be a leap of faith, but we will have to see the energies first. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and I say possible, you always have free will, and you always have to use your better judgment. Um, Leo does look like an abundant new beginning here. We do have the Fool, we do have the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. Oh, please, if this is not about a stable new beginning, I wonder what this is. I mean, this is a world of nurturing, a, lo a world of creativity. It can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, it can be a Libra. Um, Libra Taurus Leo and um, sometimes um, the fool is, is an Aries because we start with right but doesn't always have to be um, so again this is all about family stability abundance creativity and that is also a new beginning in it um, so Leo what we had in the past we do have the uh, Queen of Pentacles on your side but again you can uh, switch um, you know and pick up only what what's yours but as intended, this reading in the past had a tower moment and the Queen of Pentacles. It does look like a, an explosion of some sort, a change in love that brought a lot of instability, kind of kicked off something that was uh, built um, in a solid way. I mean, Queen of Pentacles, right? It has a world of, of abundance and stability in, and we have also the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and then the Empress in the tower, right? Um, feels like feels like a, connect, a connection that was um, you know was going well and then it uh, it was a surprise right the tower was um, a disruption that we were not seeing we were not seeing and it looks like a hard hit right to your stability um, money um, abundance whatever gave you a sense of um, a sense of abundant self right um, now this person of yours uh, of course, probably they ask for an ending of some sort. They do have the world and they do have the magician, right? So it's uh, interesting. We have the full, the magician, both energies of new beginning and manifestation, setting out intents, want, wanting something else. Uh, but it had to come with an ending, right, uh, Leo? So this person of yours, uh, it's kind of uh, maturing and deciding to to um, to go to the next step. The magician is also, in terms of energy, is a promotion, Right. We have confidence, we have manifested, we now know what we want, and we have the tools. So they kind of like they graduated and with graduation kind of came uh, the world energy, right? The endings, closing a, a chapter, but it's a natural um, coming to an end, right? They were simply moving forward um, and, uh, and manifesting something. Uh, probably that didn't involve um, you because we do have the death uh, between the two of you. So we have the world and the death, 
definitely an ending and we have you uh, Leo King of Wands we do have now two feminine energies and two masculine energies I'm just um, saying that just in case but uh, you know that bit that is uh, we will see how it evolves but um, absolutely we have and we can we can have um, earth in our um, natal chart we can have um, you know other energy so uh, no problem there but I kind of feel that it, it came to it was a natural and then probably you were the one suffering here uh, this is you embracing kind of um, you know descending and working with it and trying to get your stability back get back on your feet that um, absolutely like a focus on on finances and stability at, at, at that time or what followed you know and um, that is a sense it's interesting right because one was focusing on stability and and getting back on their feet and that is this other person going through the full energy taking a chance taking a risk manifesting and just throwing themselves um, out there kind of in the wind but uh, we'll see um a lot of transformation a lot of learning a lot of cycles ending um somehow uh, because they needed to right all these major arcana it's kind of like the universe um, intervention saying it was not going well come on we know it was not flowing it was not natural so the world uh, the universe made it uh, flow naturally um so where are we right now absolutely longing for a reconciliation we do have the three of cups and the eight of swords a little bit obsessed a little bit tied up um bound to this idea of we need to come back together right we want that happiness again with them it's like but we were good what happened right and then we have you a little bit discouraged leo and this is so not good right eight of swords is the energy but there is no way out i love them they are the only one right when it is not true that is always a way out but hey i do understand that we want that happiness with them right and the and and the reconciliation and guess what they want you back too we do have the knight of pentacles and we have king queen and now we have knight definitely a strong earth energy and we do have the sun and this is Julio. so they want you back you know they might be approaching you uh, like a friend um you know like somebody we know and we have um kind of a, a, a friendly connection you know conversations and stuff but at the end of the day, this is this is you, and this is them approaching you slowly, and moving towards you, and uh, it has a sense of stability, right? <laughs> Leo, I do love the energy between you and this person at this time. We do have the hermit. We have somebody being wise about, while the other person is rushing in. Knight of Swords and the Hermit, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But at this time, at this time, we have somebody impulsive and we have somebody pulling the lamp of wisdom and saying, how about we think about it just for a little bit longer, you know? Um, it is the energy of lessons. It is the energy of, so again, coming from two different energies at this time, uh, they are loyal to their pentacles energy, but uh, between the two of you, that is, again, this energy of... Um, one has learned their lesson and the other one is like but i want this so it better come to me i'm willing to have it to fight for it i'm willing to jump um so of course you have to identify with but on your side it's, it's pretty clear right um that we still have um some we, we still need some personal time and we still need to free ourselves from this energy of mental prison right being in a spiral and the only thing we see and we want is them, right? So, and the universe is kind of sending to major arcana. There is abundance in new beginnings, the fool and the empress, right? It's okay. That is growth in new beginning, um, in a new beginning, whatever you choose. There is stability, king of pentacles. There is somebody willing to take care of you in this new beginning. There is this energy of, um, of the provider around you, if you only allow it, right? Now moving forward, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. We know this is the energy of abundance and the Six of Cups. We miss them, we want them and coming your way. Six of Cups is the energy of reconciliation also. 
Um, but because it's paired with the Nine of Pentacles, it's kind of, you know, beginning of September, it's actually putting the pieces back together. Nine of Pentacles is um, standing tall, right? It's the energy of independence. It's the energy of I'm going to do me. And, um, and we have this beautiful... Um, you know, Six of Cups energy, yes, it's a bit of, of reminiscence, but it's also the clarity to see that maybe <clears throat> the past you are seeing it in kind of pink colors, right? Now, this person of yours, um, Leo, they are so, they so regret the toxicity they brought into your life and into this connection. We do have the Devil, Capricorn energy and the Five of Cups a lot of regrets now they understand that is <clears throat> sorry i'm losing my voice here um with the with the hermit right it is a very um strong energy of wisdom now they know and because they know and and they know they were kind of the one um the ones responsible for the whole um situation that went wrong uh, they are like, oh my God, I miss Leo, right? And Leo again, coming your way, we do have the Hermit energy, Virgo and the Seven of Cups. Again, uh, and then one being very wise about this. Um, and it, it's with the energy of regret, so somebody really gave it a thought. Again, it's this kind of the same message. Um... But we have someone confused, right? Um, Leo, and I'm sensing this is you being confused about this new beginning. And the universe is kind of pushing you. Oh, come on, come on. There is abundance in newness. There is, there is something coming your way. Um, but we might have here, and this is some food for thought, you know, seven of cups. We might. It's kind of like the universe saying, however you look at this connection, there, there might be actually in those cups, there was nothing for you, right? So maybe we are seeing a situation as being too sweet or we miss somebody because we only see now the good side of it or whatever they've done. But there was also uh, some devil energy in this connection. So um, I know and you have such beautiful energies, but you also have this energy of independence with the nine of pentacles and the energy of detaching a little bit and focusing on yourself. And it's beautiful to see. But I, I mean, this person of yours, right? They realize what they've done. I mean, the devil five of cups, you cannot have a more clear message. Kind of saying, oh boy, you know what? They think about and it's, um, it's a realization, right? And they are approaching slowly with the knight of pentacles because they've done, you know, um, all that BS kind of. And I know the universe guides you toward the new beginning, but we're gonna, we're gonna ask, um, we're gonna have some oracle cards and, and let's see. The overall energy is absolutely a beautiful one of we keep going, abundance is ahead and not um, going back, right? But we'll see, because that is also love and you are in their energy and they think about you and they wanna approach you. We have energies of reconciliation, you know, so I'm just saying. So let's see what you're what we are supposed to do here. We do have life purpose. I am so not surprised. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of life, of life purpose, of you opening up your business, focusing on your stability, on what you want to do. And the universe is really guiding you towards this. We do have the distorted feminine, Leo. I might be picking up the energy of a, of a masculine, um, um, of a divine masculine, and the universe is saying that it's a problem with your lady can also be same-sex connection um, and the universe is saying again that is a problem with the feminine in this connection and we do have abundance you have it twice Leo you have it three times with the king of pentacles so that is abundance in new beginnings here that is abundance in new beginnings and that is abundance in your life purpose and it's interesting I we don't feel that you are guided this is a love reading but I kind of uh, I sense, Leo, that you are guided towards, um, you know, your your independence in some way. There is a sense of breaking free with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, because you are right now in a mental prison of, of you know, of your own creation. Your own hands put you in, um, 
you know you are the prison guard and the uh, the prisoner right and i can understand i'm sure their emotions keep you up at night and um and there is a strong desire from your side to reconcile but um the universe is asking you to really um consider your life purpose and your abundance um leo let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time and we do have present you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances so leo we don't live in the past and we don't live in the future right that's the universe saying please enjoy your day please make sure you bring en the energy of love in whatever you do right now we do have surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams so that is something about abundance there is something about insecurities that is something that's on your mind and the universe is saying focus on the present and let go of those energies integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love in um, with your every action so we live in the present we live with integrity we do not right we surrender the um it's the poor mentality but i so don't want to talk about it it's a whole philosophy that i have about but anyways and manifestation but that is this idea of surrender your belief in scarcity right this one wanted to come out we have present integrity and now we have discipline Leo. i can accomplish what i set my mind to and bottom of the deck we have surrender frustration so for my leos a little bit frustrated the universe is saying frustration doesn't open any door the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly leo i'm not seeing you guided towards this person but i see this person regretting their um doings their wrongdoings badly i would say five of cups in the sun right they want to tell the truth they feel attracted you know to um revealing something to you that whatever was connected to endings and uh, painful explosions so um so leo this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care bye